Hi, this is Don McAllister and welcome to another Screencasts Online weekly tip video. Well, it's been quite a while since I looked at the Apple TV, so this week here are a few simple Apple TV tips. Now, the first thing to show you if you have more than one Apple TV is a way to rename your Apple TV. So if we just go across to the Settings app and tap into General, tap into About, and here we have the name. So I've currently already renamed this as Office. And if I actually tap in once more, you can see the standard names that are available to you, starting with the Apple TV at the top. But you can choose these standard names. If you want a custom name, if you just come down here, click on Custom Name. Now here's a quick tip if you're using the on-screen keyboard and you're stuck with using the standard Apple remote. Um, this is especially useful if you're entering passwords, where sometimes it's difficult to use the dictation command. If you want to change case, uh, you can, if you want, swipe down, swipe down again, uh, let's swipe up. You'll see the difficulty. I just need to carefully swipe here and swipe across uh, to change between cases or a much easier way. If I go across back to the letter A, if I actually hit the pause or play button once, it will toggle the case for me. So uh, just a single command or a single button press will toggle the caps on and off. OK, but what I'm actually going to do, I'm going to change this to studio. So I'm going to backspace, get rid of office. Again, I could use the on-screen keyboard, but let's go ahead and dictate Studio. And there we are. So if I just swipe down, I will say Done. Another tip is an easy way of putting your Apple TV to sleep. Now, by default, um, you normally would have your Apple TV go to sleep after a certain period of time of inactivity. And you can get to that by going down to, here we go, Sleep After, currently set to one hour. You have never 15 minutes, 30 minutes, etc. Whoops, it looks like I need to recharge my remote. If I just come out of here, um, a quick and easy way to put your Apple TV to sleep is to press and hold on the home button. That's on the Apple remote, and then you can now go immediately into sleep. I'm actually going to go ahead and say cancel to that, but uh, that's just a quick and easy way of going into sleep. Now, a final tip is the screensavers available on the Apple TV. Now, I'm addicted to the Arial screensaver. Just go into here. I currently have mine, well, my main Apple TV to download new videos every, there we go, every day. And they are quite large, up to 350 megabytes. But the quality of the aerial screensavers are fantastic. Uh, you can get them to start after five minutes. You can get them to show during music and podcasts. Now, you can preview from here if you want, but an easier way to preview without having to wait for them to start automatically is just to come back out. I'll just hit the menu button until we come back out to the top level. Press the menu button again, and then one more press of the menu button, and now we have this glorious screensaver. Obviously, this is London at uh, dusk, and we've got Tower Bridge there, and they will actually display the relevant screensaver based on the time of day. But even with that switched on, sometimes you don't get to see all the screensavers. So a really good tip, if I just quickly go across to my Mac, and across on the Mac, if you go to benjaminmayo.co.uk, um, the actual URL for the source of all the video screensavers, the high quality video screensavers for the Apple TV has been published over here. So you can actually select them at will and see all the different screensavers. So this is obviously the London one we've just taken a look at. But if you scroll down, you've got all these different videos to choose from. And you can go through, uh, just select them at random. You'll see them appear in the video at the top. Uh, my personal favorites, if we scroll down, let's have a look. We've got, um, here we go, Dubai by night. I think this is one of my favorite ones. Yep, absolutely spectacular. And uh, another personal favorite down here, uh, San Francisco by night. If we have a look at that one. Okay, and this is a standard HTML5 video player so that I can actually make it go full screen if I want. I can pop it out into a window. I can play it on an AirPlay device as well. This particular one, if we just scroll along, I actually get the Coit Tower appearing in the foreground. Extremely spectacular. Let me just pop this out of the way. We'll pop that back down. So that's benjaminmayo.co.uk. Uh, I can't guarantee how long these videos will be available for and how often they will be updated. But at the moment, the website is up. The links are working, so you can try those out to your heart's content. And thanks to Alex Fox, a friend of the show, for pointing out this website to me. If you want to learn more about using your Apple devices, there are over 700 full video tutorials available to Screencast Online members. 
covering all aspects of the Mac, iPhone, iPad, Apple Watch, and even the Apple TV. Now, all full members receive a new Apple related video tutorial each and every week, as well as a free subscription to the Screencast Online monthly magazine packed with videos and articles on getting the most out of your Apple devices. Now, you can get your free 14 day trial membership over at screencastsonline.com or check out some of the free content over on the SEO Showcase app on the iPad, iPhone, and Apple TV. That's it for this week. I'll be back next week with another tip, so I'll speak to you then.